Go over to Facebook, click on the menu bar down there to access settings and privacy. Scroll down to find orders and visibility, then click on followers and public content. Here you can manage your followers and what goes up on your public content. So click on followers and public content. This page is set to public, only public can follow you. So check if you have any other settings on your phone, go over and click on who can see your followers and your timeline here, either the public or your friends or only you can see your followers on your timeline. So click on only me and click on save. Click on who can see the people pages and lists that you follow. Here you can manage who can see the people pages and lists that you follow. It can be the public or any of these settings right here. So because you want to be pri private, click on only me, then click on save. Click on who can comment on your public post. Here you can choose who is allowed to comment on your public post. It can be public, it can be your friends or friends or your friends. So click on friends and click on save. Click on public profile info. Here you can manage who can like or comment on your profile information that is always public, including your profile pictures, profile video covers, photo covers and features photos in your album, in your short bio. So go ahead and click on friends and click on save. In this next settings, you can choose a list of words, phrases or emojis that you want to hide from your profile. This variation of keywords uses numbers or symbols. Mostly people use it to troll other people so that it cannot be flagged by Facebook, but you can save up to 1000 keywords here to be blocked on your profile. Go ahead and click on save. See the next video to manage who can tag you on their post and what can appear on your profile.